So this is your game. This is how your game looks currently, right? And then if you were to add my settings, this is my game. Okay, guys, listen, listen very carefully. These are the best settings. And I don't mean kind of okay settings. These are without a doubt, beyond all reasonable doubt, the best settings you could possibly have for Escape from Tarkov. I've been playing this game for like three years, a little over 8,000 hours. My games never looked so good ever in the entirety of my time playing. I want to give a quick shout out though to Axel. We took a little bit of his settings, influence with my settings, and then also uh, a little bit of Knack settings. So Nakeem, thank you as well. There is still a way to uncap your frames. Like when you're in the, the stash like in the hideout and also in game uh, we're gonna start with that uncap frames then we're gonna move into the actual game settings so let's jump right into that so we're gonna start right here you can do it overall for your your global settings that's what i do for mine because i actually use these settings on other games too but if you want to just use it on tarkov you're also able to do that if you just go into your program find escape from tarkov you might have to add it uh if that's the case and you just add escape from tarkov and then do all your settings via there first things first though low latency mode you're gonna switch that to ultra and then we scroll down a little bit further. You can also change your power management mode to maximum performance. If you haven't done that already, you might have already done that. And then the really important thing, this is where the actual like uncapping of the frames comes in. Vertical sync, you're going to turn that off. We're then going to go in and turn it on in Tarkov. And that's going to trick the GPU because now there's no vertical sync number for it to register. And that's going to uncap our game or our frames in game. You're going to see that here in a second. The only other portion that I could see you guys needing to do and possibly wanting to do, you might want to create your own custom display resolution but all you would have to do is you would come in here sometimes it's, it's finicky with mine because i have a capture card plugged in as well so you have to typically unplug your capture card select the monitor that you're trying to do hit customize and you'll be able to build a custom resolution yeah it's not going to give me the option right now because the capture card's plugged in what that does is creates a, a custom refresh rate so for example tarkov typically will override your refresh rate even if you change and uncap your frames it still locks your frames technically at the refresh rate that it shows so if you want to go past that if you have a monitor that's over 144 hertz you want more than that all you would do is create a custom resolution reduce the 1440 by one pixel so i play technically on 2560 by 1439 and that just creates it as its own separate resolution you're not going to see the difference of one pixel and then force the maximum refresh rate for your monitor so my monitor is 270 hertz i set the max of my own obviously at 270 then i hit save and then when we boot up tarkov and we come in here you'll see the uh the actual resolution separate from all the other ones too so we're going to come down into settings i play on max fov that's obviously personal preference head bombing is definitely off but then graphics so this is where things get fancy yeah you see my my custom resolution right here so typically you'd see 2560 by 1440 i have my custom one that i've made 2560 by 1439 that has my 270 hertz locked into it like baked in so that one gives me my my maximum monitor refresh rate uh, i am playing on full screen as well and you can see right here v sync is turned on so if i turn vsync off and we check our frames really quick see now we're locked back down to 60. but if we come in here and we turn vsync on and we hit save boom 420 frames and that stays it persists super nice when we go into our hideout it's the same thing too yeah there you go 200 300 frames in our hideout So once that is done, we're going to go through the actual graphic settings themselves. Now, this is where you get more frames. So we started with textures. We put those on high. Shadows went to low. LOD at two. Overall visibility at 400. Anti-aliasing is TAA. Resampling is off. DLSS off. FSR off. HBAO off. SSR off. Anisotropic filtering is off. NVIDIA load latency is off. And sharpness, I put at 0.7. Honestly, anywhere between, let's say, 0.3 and, and 0.7 is probably good. You don't want it to be too, too sharp. Obviously, if you're streaming it too, you don't want it to look too grainy and, and pixelated. And then MIP streaming is generally for like lower end PCs, so I don't run MIP streaming personally. You can mess around with it, obviously, if you want to. Um, this is going to be grayed out, our lobby FPS and game FPS. It is 144 now. Yeah, we're right. But because we turn on VSync and we have our uncapped frames, this is irrelevant. This doesn't matter. And then I run high quality color just because I have the VRAM on my GPU. I don't run post effects. There are no post effects at all instead of running post effects i'll show you now what i do for my coloring so we come into our nvidia control panel once again adjust desktop color settings so typically like even you can see it even in my desktop so if i put this back to normal typically this is what my desktop looks like 
I personally don't touch brightness. I bump contrast up. Contrast is probably going to be the thing that you're going to want to tweak to make your monitor look the best as well. Everything else you can pretty much copy from mine one for one. Like I usually bump my gamma to like a 1.99. Digital vibrance, I like that little bit more color, especially now with painkillers removing all the color. So I go 100% on the digital vibrance. But then contrast, I put it at 60. Depends on how bright your monitor is. If your monitor you find is a little bit too bright, you might want to bump that up a little bit because that's just going to take away some of that white that you're adding in with the gamma. Well, you can really see a difference there. Yeah, if I pull pull contrast out, you can see how white it gets. But yeah, so usually for me, for my monitor, 60 is perfect. The blacks look black. Don't really see too much of that white film. Let's do a little before and after. Let's let's show you guys exactly what those things look like in game. Okay, so. Hi, YouTube. So welcome to streets. Already games looking pretty good. Like, yeah, this is an offline raid, but we're getting like 144-ish frames. I usually average about 120 in an online game, 125. If we come chill over here and we look back at something with some color. Yeah, there we go. We got some greens in there. So this is your game. This is how your game looks currently, right? And then if you were to add my settings, this is my game. My settings, your settings. Massive change. And now you have the best looking Tarkov in the game, full stop period the end bar none hope you guys have great raids thank you for watching we'll see you soon